It is a good thing the skies are clear for now because this week we have the chance to see a lunar eclipse. It's happening Thursday night into Friday morning and 10 TV meteorologist Dylan Robichaud explains what happens when you look up. This will be incredible Thursday night into Friday morning. Set the alarm, set a reminder, do whatever you got to do to remind yourself to look at this. But we are going to have a total lunar eclipse early on Friday morning. Now the partial eclipse will begin at about 109. The maximum eclipse will go from about 2.30 in the morning until 3.30 in the morning. This would be the best time to get out there and then the eclipse will end by about 4.47 in the morning. Let's give you a bit more specifics here. I want to share with you exactly what the moon will actually look like here. So at 109 in the morning, the moon is going to look normal. But as we head towards 226 in the morning, as the Earth's shadow blocks that sunlight from hitting the moon, it's going to go ahead and turn that blood orangey light color. The best time, the best time to get out there would be at 258 in the morning. And then by 331, we're going to be looking at that eclipse beginning to gradually come to an end. And it totally comes to an end here by about 447 in the morning. And if you accidentally sleep through it and you don't go out there and see it, don't worry. We'll have another opportunity. March 3rd of next year, we'll have another lunar eclipse.